Monsieur le Président Macron, Monsieur le Président Hollande, chers amis, cher Bernard, drogués ukrainiens, ladies and gentlemen, none of us would ever imagine to live in the wartime in the 21st century. None would ever believe our life could spiral into an absolute nightmare. Everybody look into the better future and peace, security and stability for ourselves, for our countries and for our children. So was it until February 21st, till 4 a.m.? And please make no mistake, this is an unprovoked, inhuman and absolutely bloody war. The war that it's waged by Putin against Ukraine. Not hybrid, but open one. Not a special military operation, how he claims, but a full-fledged war. For hours, Ukraine, the motherland of the Queen of France, Anne de Kiev, was shelled with the ballistic missiles of Russia. They covered the whole our territory the biggest country in Europe by territory, from east to west, from north to south. So was it done to allow Russian military to intervene in Ukraine from Donbas, from Crimea, from Russia and from Belarus. They want us to panic and capitulate within an hour. And they fail at every instance, even today. At this very moment, they are aiming at taking every single major city around Ukraine, especially Kharkiv and Kyiv. I'm in Kyiv, and just a minute ago, it was a flight of the Russian bomber plane attacking Kyiv by means of indiscriminate shelling and killing through blood of soldiers and civilians, through tears of mothers who lost their children, wives who lost their husbands, children who lost their parents, Putin wishes to reverse a history. And I repeat it for you, Putin does it through the blood and war just at your door. Is it not madness? Is it not pure evil? As of today, we have survived five nights of hell and five nights against the second army of the world that attack in our country with all its might, anger and hate. The shelling of residential neighborhood and hospital and fighting on the street of the cities, including those that are essentially suburbs of our capital. The five horrific nights when children are dying and the nights when children were given birth against shelling at shelter. And it keeps going now in reality, not in the movie. Shoots are real and real are killings. And I would like to tell you a story I received from the small town, just maybe 50 kilometers from here, from Kiev, near occupied Chernobyl nuclear power plant. After occupation, Russian soldiers have destroyed mostly all of the civilian infrastructure, school, museums, shops, small factories, just raised to ground. Yesterday they set on fire the last pharmacy. They are raising the town from the ordinary houses and shooting people on the street. All of these actions are pure war crimes and is the true genocide. All the nation is fighting, my nation. Every window Every house, every street is the hell for the invaders. And Putin believed it would be met with the flowers by Ukrainian. He is now met with a Molotov cocktail as flowers. Ukrainian people call it Bandera smoothie. Putin cannot break Ukraine's resistance and lose his soldiers every passing days. Thousands of Russian soldiers. Just imagine, he refused to take back to Russia the corpse of the fallen Russian soldiers. Their mothers will not know the fates of their sons. They are using field of crematoriums to get rid of their 
can unfold it. Putin cares neither of those alive nor of those fallen. And every single inch of our land matters. But if Kiev withstands, Ukraine withstands, Europe withstands, if Kiev withstands, it will mean significant victory for us and for you. Not only for Ukrainian, but for all Europe and the world of democracies. Ukraine is fighting hard today. Not only Ukraine Putin hates to the bottom of his devil heart. He hates the entire collective West with our freedom and our democracy. How does he dare to put his nuclear forces on the high alert under false pretext? How doesn't he dare to threaten the world with the nuclear weapons? Putin is way worse than the Hitler and he will not stop unless we stop him. He will go beyond Ukraine unless we push him out of Ukraine. And every human life is important in Ukraine, in Russia, in Europe. Now more than ever, we need to complete isolation of Russia on land, on sea, on the air, even the cyberspace and in the space. Now more than ever, the economic base of Putin's aggression must be destroyed through the total disabling of SWIFT without exception, through the introduction of the trade embargo and sanction to the entire Putin system, from its accomplices to the central bank of Russia. And now, more than ever, we need to support Ukraine with the latest weapons, especially so that enemy does not feel his impunity in the air. That is why we demand that NATO close the airspace of the Ukraine. And I would like to thank you, France, for your support. Merci beaucoup for your support of today and for your assistance during all these last years. Ukraine is proud of its military forces and we created together with NATO alliance just from the scratch under my presidency since the year 2014. We also shall be proud of Ukraine armed forces and tears of Russians apart. We will succeed on every front because the truth is on our side. Vive la France and glory to Ukraine.